Since we last met, Toya's played the famous Apollo in New York, realized how special South African music is in the world, and launched the second of a trilogy of albums representing her journey through life. One of the things I love most about my job is that I get to broaden my horizons all the time as I engage with my guests doing things that they love doing. And today I'm hanging with music sensation Toya Delazy, who's asked me to meet her here at the store, which is a, which is a tattoo and, and piercing parlor. She is best described as unconventional. Jason, I'm really, I really like those, eh? Toya, hi. Uh, wow. Yo, so Nick, you... This is for you, actually. I'm here to bling you up because you can't be rolling around looking like that, going with me. This is not exactly what I had in mind when I said, let's do something together. I'm gonna go get um, yeah. some Yeah. I eat chakra. Okay, so what are you doing here today? I'm here to stretch my lobes. Stretching your? Lobes. Back in the day, you know, us Zulis used to like pull through and really like stretched out ears. But I just like it because it's cool and I think it suits me. And what are you going for? I'm going for those blingy ones over there, man. Right over there. Experts suggest that before starting, you decide how far you want to stretch and stick to that. If you've just pierced your ears, wait five months before stretching to let your ear heal. Jason, where does the practice of stretching your lobe stem from? It started um, originally through ancient uh, civilizations and cultures. It became more westernized and popular through the States and that uh, musicians mainly sort of pushing the envelope on, on popularity. Okay, so what's he doing right now? Well, he's inserting this insertion pin, which goes up at a slow of two mils at a time, so that allows it to actually stretch slowly, opposed to forcing it in and causing any tears. It's more than Toya's lobes that she's stretching. Her move to the mother city is as much a cultural and musical shift as it is a geographical one. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. That is lovely. Wow. Yeah. Dig it. Well, yeah. I know it's your home, but welcome to Cape Town. Love it. Why did you make the move down? Um, you know, like, I was in Jersey, it was good, but, like, I just had to, like, you know, grow and write some new stuff, so I moved to the side of town and it's been really good for me. So, new beginnings, new earplugs, new home, new music. New music and also a new producer. I've like set up a studio and that's where I was making all my music from, like so, for this new album, yeah. Well, I'd love to check it out, can I? Let's go, let's go. It's here the Toya's transforming from 2013's triple Sama winning jazz electro pop artist to singer-songwriter and self-produced musician. Back from Europe, Asia and America, she's been busy with a new creative team and the proof is in the music. Dabezita. Pardon me? Dabezita. Dabezita. What am I saying? It's in honor of my great-grandmom and also my ancestry. Is that your grandmother? Yeah, that's my great-grandma. Her name is Princess Makoko Gatinzul. And yeah, she's a musician. Actually the first indigenous composer in Africa. Well, recorded. <laughs> And she stood up at a time where, like, it was only left for men to be um, praise singers. And she became a praise singer and she would sing and stuff. So she inspires me in that way. So that must mean that you're a princess. Yes, I am. I'm a princess. But I'm just like a rock star princess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, diff it's a different time now, you know, we've grown and yeah. Where do you get the inspiration for your look? It's so different. I get it from, I guess when I was young, my mom allowed me to like, you know, dress as I feel. And yeah, basically this is just like an expression of what I feel like on the inside. That's how I feel about clothing. And of course, all of that flows into your music. Tell me about your latest album. Well, my latest album, I've titled it Ascension. And it's all about, you know, rising to the occasion. Um, Dewdrop did exceptionally well. I was gold, I went gold and but this one, it's more, way more personal. It's like the struggle after the struggle. Basically meaning that I now had established, I've told everyone to pump it on, and this is like what happens after that. And it's all the journeys, it's all the traveling, and it's also about, you know, sharing African music overseas. I've, I've traveled a lot for this album. I was in Los Angeles, I was in New York, I've been in Berlin, I've been in England, and the whole point is to, you know, make a global album. So it's, it's a big project for me. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about the sound, right? What should I do? 
It's also all about the video, and we were invited on set as director Kyle Lewis filmed his take on Toya's new lead track. The name of the song today is uh, called Forbidden Fruit, and basically the song is about temptations or not knowing how to let go of something that you really love. The concept for Forbidden Fruit um, deals with relationships, um, just in all the broad aspects that there are. I mean, we are kind of representing love across all borders, but done in a very kind of stylistic way. Obviously hearing the song, it's called Forbidden Fruit, and we have a lot of fruit aspects in the video, so there's kind of a literal element to it, but obviously what I wanted to do was turn it on its head a little bit and have like aspects of religion and all that kind of things within it, and um, just to kind of make it a, a statement piece more than anything, something that stands out, not necessarily controversial, but has things that are kind of memorable visuals that you know can kind of stick to it, like the song is. What's different about this album? Well, when I look at her and see who I am now, it's the growth. I mean, like before I was the kid playing in pubs, I'm from my Shabbatini to Durban. It was like a full on hustle. Now it's the kid trying to make it in a global space. Like I've been to different countries. I understand culture. Like if you don't travel, I feel like you lose out on a lot of culture and you need that if you want to touch a lot of people. So now this is cultured girl in a different struggle to like express a different part of myself and, you know, share the same energy just in a different way. We don't live to find, but rather to create ourselves, says Toya. So don't follow trends, set your own. Love, 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 love.